we need this to happen. Do you know what we need to be happen? Backwards compatibility on all consoles. If you saw a couple weeks ago, the last video, you can see what games should be backwards compatible on the Xbox One. While I was making that video, I was thinking, we need this on all consoles, right? Because we got the Wii that is backwards compat compatible with GameCube games, right? We have the Wii U that is backwards compatible on all Wii games. So, I think, in my opinion, that it's probably not going to be true that we're not going to get backwards compatibility for the Switch. Now, prove me wrong, because um, they may support GameCube games, but we may not, like, be able to play Wii U games, but everyone says that, that the Wii U was uh, even bigger of a flop than the Virtual Boy, but in my opinion, it's, like, one of my favorite consoles, so I'm not going to argue with that. But if Nintendo decides to make backwards compatibility available on the Switch, that is amazing. Please add Sunshine and, and Melee, please. They're one of my favorite games of all time. Well, we need backwards compatibility on all consoles from now on. Do you want to know why? Because backwards compatibility gives us more options to play games. And lets us get rid of our old systems and move on to the next big thing. Say like with the Xbox One. They announced that we're, they, like a couple months, um, like about, I don't know when, but then they started um, functionality for certain titles of the Xbox or 60 games. The Wii U straight out of the box was able to play every single Wii game on the market. But with PlayStation, you have to buy a subscription to play like a select few or a lot above 600, I believe. Which is good, but you have to pay for it. And plus it's streaming. And if you have if you have a bad internet connection, you are not going to have a fun time. Especially if you're playing like hack and slash games like God of War. Now, the reason why, um, as I said, those things I said, yeah, I might bring you good. As I was saying, we truly need backwards compatibility. If, you know, backwards compatibility is important to all consoles because it lets people know that we want backwards compatibility. Like, say, like, you want an Xbox One, you have a 360. And then, like, one of your favorite games of all time gets announced that it's coming to the Xbox One. That just, that just gives you a bigger reason to trade in your 360 to save up for an Xbox One. Same thing with me. Whenever Black Ops 1 is coming to the Xbox One, I psyched. Because if you guys don't know, Black Ops 1 is my all-time favorite Call of Duty of all time. Because of the campaign, zombies, and multiplayer is just beautiful. Unimus. It beautiful. Same thing with Black Ops 2. When I heard Black Ops 2 was coming to the Xbox One, I, I freaked out. Because, um, if you guys didn't know, I used to own Black Ops 2 on the Wii U. Crazy, but true. Now, you may be thinking, why the Wii U, not, like, the Xbox 360 or PS3? Well, at the time, I didn't own an Xbox 360, and the only, and the only PlayStation 3 in the house was owned by my roommate. Now... The reason why I decided to get on the Wii U, apart from those reasons, in my opinion, it just felt a lot better playing on the gamepad, since I completed the campaign like three times on the gamepad by itself. Um, and I actually completed four times overall, one time on like just my TV straight up. Like, I completed it on that. But, um, yeah. But, even though Go Call of Duty Ghosts is on, the Wii U, I never really played it on the Wii U because um, I had an Xbox 360 at the time because my uncle got me an Xbox 360, but that was way before I had Black Ops 2, way before, or way after, I should say. And um, my mom, and he also got me Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, a lot of people say, oh, Call of Duty York is your worst game ever. No, that, that's your bad name. But in my opinion, it was not that bad. The campaign was pretty nice. Um, the, in my opinion, to make it better, they should have added like something like zombies. But um, it's not. Well, a lot of people say it's not that good of a game, but in my opinion, it's pretty good. Same as Advanced Warfare. A lot of people say it was a big flop, but now it's starting to gradually gain its 
Um, like a lot of people, you know. Off topic. Off topic. So we truly need backwards compatibility on all consoles from now on. Because backwards compatibility is important. As those reasons I just gave. And we just need backwards compatibility. Which means, like, that's the thing before about Black Ops, like, about a, call, a game. Not just certain Call of Duty, like, games that, like, they're your all-time favorite and now come into the Xbox One. That just gives you a reason to save up for an Xbox One. And that increased sales. So, say, like, um, Sony decides to ditch the um, PlayStation Now and decides for allows you to do a select few, like Xbox does. And, um... That would increase Sony's sales of the of the PS4, and if that truly happened, I I would probably save up for next, for a PS4, even though um I'm not gonna get a PS4 anytime soon. Yep, the comments next selection is gonna be real nice down there. It's gonna be real nice, but I'm probably not gonna be getting a PS4 anytime soon because um I really don't have a use for it since I have a 2DS, a Wii U, Wii. Uh, Xbox One, I really don't have a use. I don't know. So, yeah, if you guys want to see, um, back, if you guys want backwards compatibility on all consoles from now on, be sure to hit that like button. And if you, and if you have someone, you have a friend that may enjoy, like, these videos that we need blah, maybe share them with it. And maybe if you want, or obviously, you can probably subscribe to my channel. And maybe, like, probably, like, down there, right down there, you can click the like button, as I just said. Or dislike, I, I really don't matter. It's just one video. Well, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And, and hit that like button down there, down there, or maybe even dislike button. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.